Hello everyone, my name is John Fisher. I'm the Director of Product Development for the Jayco Lightweight brands, which includes Whitehawk, Jayfeather, and Jayfeather Micro. Today we're here to do some video coverage of the new 2022 enhancements for our products. So we're gonna spend some time taking you through the interior and exterior. Uh, first of all, I wanted to start out and thank everyone for the tremendous success that we've had in 2021. And, and we know that's gonna carry over into 2022. Uh, one thing that we really focused in on with the, with the 2022 Whitehawk is some floor plan changes. So if you look at the 2022 website that is now up and running, uh, we've had some key changes to some floor plans. You'll have a total offering of 11 floor plans and eight of them will either be new or revised. We're standing in a 27RB, which is a top selling Whitehawk, and there's a, a new back end rear bath that I wanna show you guys here at the end of the video. So we wanna start out with the interior. And one thing we wanna do is give a shout out to Stacy Stewart and her design team. They've done a great job year after year in staying up with home trends. So these RVs are ultra modern. She did a fantastic job heading into 2022 with some, some new um, accents. One thing that we did is throughout, we have an, a whole new vinyl flooring and that will be across Whitehawk, Jayfeather and Jayfeather Micro. And one thing in, in the lightweight brands with Jayco, you'll have noticed the last few years, we have vinyl flooring in our slide outs as well. So it doesn't matter if it's a Micro, Feather or Whitehawk, you will not see any carpet in any of our models. We have all new decorative wallboard throughout. Stacy did a great job with the a new backsplash. Last year it was a little bit darker, but now we have a, a white, bright subway tile look. And, and then we also have new white countertop designs. So as you go through the coach, you're gonna notice with the multiple lights and all the light colors, it feels very open. It's very bright. So going into uh, 2022, one other change that we made is for two, three, four years, we've had the Modern Farmhouse, which has been ultra popular. We're gonna continue to carry that over in Whitehawk, Jayfeather, and Jayfeather Micro. But last year and the year before, we had a cashmere cottage decor. We're gonna replace that with a vintage wash gray, which we debuted in Jayfeather and Micro last year with, with ultra good success. Um, so one thing I wanted to point out though, with Jayco, you can pick a decor package. So modern farmhouse, vintage wash. But when you do that, your bedroom is always gonna be the bourbon chocolate color. So it's gonna have the darker tone. If your, if your RV has an entertainment center in it, it's always gonna be bourbon chocolate. Your dinette area is going to be bourbon chocolate. If you have a bunkhouse in the model, it will also be bourbon chocolate. Whereas your bathroom, whether you get vintage wash gray or modern farmhouse white, is always gonna be modern farmhouse, okay? So just in the main living area, this, this 27RB shows with a modern farmhouse decor, but you'll have this pantry and this area right here in modern farmhouse. Again, if you were to get vintage washed, those same areas would have that different decor color. As I mentioned earlier, we had a, uh, some, some model revisions or floor plan revisions. I wanted to kind of take a few minutes and explain the 27RB. I'm gonna swing around here, Ryan. So we have multiple rear bath models in our, in our three band, brands, the Micro, the Jayfeather, and the Whitehawk. We've had super success over the years with the Jayfeather 22RB. We have the 25 RB, and then in Whitehawk, we have this 27 RB. They're all top sellers within the respective brand. But we looked at um, all three bathrooms and we figured, okay, with consumers and even our dealers, we have three different bath layouts. Why not take the best of the three and put it on the back end of all three models? So what we did is our design team got together. We, we lined up a 27 RB, we lined up a 25 RB, and we lined up a 22 RB. And we felt that the 22 RB Feather offered the best floor plan or the, the best rear bath layout. So we've actually now for 2022, put that rear bath on the back end of the 27 RB and the 25 RB. So the nice thing about it is it's got a nice, 
36 by 30 rectangular shower with the skylight. You've got that added uh, headroom up there, but plenty of room in the shower. You know, you've got bathroom or toilet, foot, foot, foot flush porcelain toilet with a nice window here. And you got some nice space for towels and a huge, huge medicine or linen cabinet, whatever you want to call it, and a great countertop space in this. The other thing that it allows is obviously built into the back end of this, you'll have an outside kitchen. So if you talk about the Jayfeather 25RB, that is the one of the three models that didn't have an outside kitchen for, so for 2022, you'll, all three models will have outside camp kitchens with them. So that's just a little bit on the 2022 changes for Whitehawk. Now we're going to step outside. One thing you'll notice is that uh, the Jayfeather and the Jayfeather Micro have white sidewalls with a gray sidewall uh, bottom band. Well, we wanted to give the, the lightweights from Jayco more of a family feel. So we went ahead and changed the sidewall color in Whitehawk for 2022. We have a white, primarily white sidewall with a gray band instead of the primary gray sidewall with white band, which again for 2022 will match Jay Feather and the, uh, and the Jay Feather Micro. Um, we carried over the same graphics package from 2021, which went over really well with consumers last year, but we did have to change some of the colors within the monochromatic design to match that sidewall color change. So we did have a slightly different coloring of the graphics to help match the, uh, the overall look. Um, one thing we were excited about, and again, keeping with that family branding, uh, if you lined up a new white hawk to a new J feather you'll see that the caps have primarily the same design lines so for 2022 we redesigned the cap the the uh, front automotive windshield was introduced uh, three four model years ago with great success in white hawk people really love that windshield uh, but we wanted the caps overall to have a, a little bit more uh familiar or same look on their design. So again, you'll see a lot of the design lines and the lighting on the front cap will kind of more match the J Feather, even though that brand doesn't offer the windshield. Um, so we have the new Sidewinder gunmetal aluminum rims, and that's across all the Jayco Tobles. We went to one aluminum rim. Uh, we felt that that rim truly accented our, our exterior looks. Uh, so we're excited about the new rims. Uh, one thing that is uh, was debuted in J Feather Micro in 2021 was all five of the models debuted had a 55 gallon fresh water tank. And with that being an off-road camper, that was one thing that we heard our, our dealer base and retail public say is that they want more fresh water, more fresh water, because we're going off-road with that brand. So you have 55 gallons. So we figured going into this, you can never have, not have enough fresh water. So we added 55 gallon fresh water tanks to both White Hawk and Jay Feather. So all across the lightweight brands, you'll have 55 gallons of fresh water. Um, we added an exterior TV bracket. It's a Ramco TV bracket on the exterior sidewall on all lightweight models. So you'll have your TV hookups. All you have to do is, is hook, hook the bracket that will come with the, with the RV onto a TV and you'll have exterior viewing out under the awning. And then lastly, this was debuted in 2021, but it was later in, the, in that model year and something that we're really excited about. We introduced a, a patent pending J port system, which is a two inch receiver that is put on the campsite under the awning on all the lightweight brands. So that, that receiver will be on every single model and that also includes a bracket arm and a table. So what that table's for, whether you have an outside kitchen or not, you'll have a 17 inch Blackstone griddle. If you have an outside kitchen in your model, the Blackstone griddle is standard. If you don't, then you'll have to option in. You can get it either through the dealer or through a retail outlet to get the 17 inch Blackstone griddle. It would also even house a 22 inch griddle the way the bracket arms are set up. So that the bracket, the, the J port receiver and the table come with every lightweight model in 2020, 2022. Uh, one other thing that we added um, was a 14,500 BTU Furion AC. Uh, so, you know, traditionally out there in, in the manufacturing world, 
there is a 13,500. So you have increased BTUs as well as this is a more quiet and efficient air conditioner. If there is a model in within the lightweight brands that offers a second AC, then that would also be a 14,500. So you can either have one or two depending on the model. Uh, and then we also replaced our shark fin antenna that we've carried the past three, four years with a Weingard Air 360. And uh, this will improve through our testing, improve TV and, and radio reception. So we're excited about that to offer that to our retail customers. And lastly, we changed our roofing material. We've been using a, a, a Dicor Diflex 2 TPO membrane for years. And the supplier came out with a, a Gen 3 product, which is provides 20% more puncture and tear resistance and increase their uh, uh, warranty to 20 years. So those are the changes for the all new 2022 Whitehawk. You can see all of these changes on our website at www.jaco.com. And want to thank you so much for the backing of, of the Whitehawk, Jay Feather, and Jay Micro Brands. Have a great day.